Life is good all this month at Appalachian Wireless. Get the LG G5 for just one penny with sign-up or renewal of a two-year service agreement. That's almost $100 off the regular price. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. One of the gems of education in Floyd County is getting a lift both literally and figuratively. Students and staff attending the David School who have disabilities or injuries will now have access to the entire school now that a new chairlift is in place courtesy of a grant from the Order of Kentucky Colonels. Staff applied for the grant in the hopes of getting a good start toward paying for the lift, but after seeing the need at the school, the Order paid for the entire project. They usually grant around $7,000, $5,000, dollars but they do say it's based on need and if they feel that they can help. Um, when we wrote it, we, we knew we were going to ask for the chairlift, so any amount of money that they were going to, to offer to us would have been useful and helpful in that way. But because they were so generous with their grant that we were able to install the entire thing. The school's current staff includes Adam Williamson, a teacher, and Laura Simpkins, a practicum aide from Moorhead State University, who due to their disabilities did not have access to the whole school before the lift. I'm in a little extended kitchen right now, and if the lift had been in, I could have went upstairs, and then if I needed to go in a classroom upstairs to get a, a child, I could just go on and get them. So yes, it would be a big benefit. The Davis School is one of a kind, and the idea was um, we wanted to, or Ms. John's principal, wanted to include or have an option to include everybody. And as it was before, that lift wasn't, we couldn't do that. So not just for my sake, but for students that come here with disabilities, they can now reach the entire school. With the lift in place, the school can now efficiently accommodate students with ADA needs. The school also has plans to expand their student body to include 7th and 8th graders in the 2017-2018 school year.